Hello everyone, it's me, Sunfire SG, and I'm in the festive spirit today. It's the last episode before Christmas, and it's time, <laughs> because I've got a backlog of footage again, that uh, we're going to have the second annual Christmas mashup. Uh, this kind of happened last year as a bit of a... Not not really a joke, but I just have tons of footage. I need to get an episode out and I'll... Okay, that's what we'll do. So this is becoming a tradition. I've recorded tons of stuff. We've got a couple of new members on the, on the server. Um, there's a little bit of a tour in there as well. Uh, I am at the shopping district because I'm going to be building an island for our second shop. It's going to be coming off here. It's going to be a second shop that sells scaffolding. But um, that's not going to be this episode. That's going to be next episode. It, it's... There's a lot of stuff to get through, I think, in this mashup, so uh, enjoy. And uh, yeah, if you if you are celebrating Christmas, then Merry Christmas to you. And if you're not, then I hope you have a great holiday period. It's a fun time of the year for most people. Wasn't this festive? Now, I know that Frontline has been uh, working on a sort of Christmas holiday district. So we're going to go check that out as well. Now, we are actually in the new beta texture pack. It's finally come to Bedrock, so we can actually play around with it. I've got to admit, I do like... The never brick. It's just that teensy little bit more definition that kind of makes it pop a little more. There's some things I don't like that I've seen so far. Leaves. I don't like a lot of the leaves, but the wood. It all just kind of works. It's different, but it's the same. And, uh, you know, it's nice. Changes, changes are good sometimes. I'm not opposed to this at all. Well, let's go see what Frontline's been up to, and then we can maybe leave our mark and a couple of presents for people. We are having some real issues with the Never at the moment. It just doesn't want to load in. And it keeps teleporting people where they shouldn't be. It's teleported me to basically thousands of blocks away from my base. It's um, teleported people who are coming out of the Never to strange locations in the overworld. It's, it's a very odd situation. Now, are we going to have to deal with this all the way? I might cut to when we actually get there. Alright, here's our turn off. I'm not really sure what to expect. Oh, come on, again? Really? Really? Boo. Right, so we're into the Christmassy area. There's a lot of strays about. I mean, it's a good way to farm those slowness errors. I'm, I'm okay with that. But I've actually set up a little bit of a thing over here. We've got our ender chest down and a bed. Uh, it's a little dangerous around here. Obviously you can't light it up too much because then you melt the snow. And I was looking at this before and I'm not sure if that's to prevent spawning. Because can't they spawn on this as well? I don't really know. But either way, we've got new endrod textures. I like that they got rid of the purple. That looks way better. And yeah, we're going to be doing a little bit of building here. I'm probably going to cut back and do it in, in the form of progress updates. Um, I want to basically get a few houses done here and I might chuck a clip in in between of some of the stuff I've got up to that, you know, is going to make up this Christmas mashup. I can't unfortunately get everything in that I wanted to. It's just there's too much footage. Uh, so we're going to do our best to try and make this a fun little amalgamation of stuff. And here we see... A wild sunfire hunting its prey. This time, it's a conniption fit, who is apparently AFK, leaving himself vulnerable for attack. The hunter appears to want to humiliate his prey in the form of some Suncorp pajamas. We can see that this is effective both the first and second times, blinding this conniption fit and leaving him completely vulnerable until disaster strikes. The wild sunfire has lost his dispenser. This could mean the end of his hunt. Luckily this well-seasoned hunter has prepared well and has got another dispenser ready to complete the humiliation. With a quick placement of two redstone torches, the humiliation of this conniption fit is complete. Isn't nature marvellous? 
Well, with how long I've been playing around with just this one house, I have a feeling that we're not really going to get too much more than this done. Um, I'm going to continue. We're going to finish off this house. And maybe if there's enough time, we might get a second smaller house in. It's not looking likely, if I'm honest, guys. Um, obviously, I'm sure you're well aware that around this time of year, Christmas, it's pretty hectic. It's pretty crazy. And it's uh, even more so if you are in the situation that, you know, that we are in where we are creating content as well. Uh, we've got holidays planned and stuff like that where we need to be away with family. And uh, it kind of cuts down on your recording time quite considerably. So we'll see how we go. Um, I'm... We would definitely get this one finished, but I would have liked to have put a little more into this sort of living area than just the one house. Um, it is what it is. Back soon. We're going to have a bit of fun this episode. We've actually got a new member. And she's just jumped online. The name is Foxy Monoxide, but at the moment her gamertag is Fox Faced Queenie. Uh, obviously, gamertags on Xbox and what your username is on Java and things like that tends to differ, so we do sometimes get issues like that. Uh, I think she's trying to change it. I'm not entirely sure, but I have got a little welcome package for her, the Foxy Boxy. And uh, inside we've got some Fox Socks, Fox Rocks, Fox Knox, Catch of the Day, and Double Bow 7. And I think that should be a fairly decent starter package. I might actually chuck her an Ender Chest as well, because I actually have an extra one. And uh, yeah, what we'll be doing is we'll be going over to spawn and kind of showing her around there for a little bit. And hopefully I'll be able to show you guys something new as well, because uh, there has been a few changes at spawn. And I guess we'll see that when we get there. I'll, I'll just sort of say, hey, welcome. Welcome to Craftaway. This is uh, Foxy Monoxide. There's going to be a link in the description to her channel, so go and check her out. Great content creator, and uh, I look forward to seeing what she gets up to on the server. I have, this is this is madness. Why are there so many passive mobs just in this one area? Well, I don't know. I only logged in yesterday and briefly and today, and it's just always been the case. That's, like that's when nuts. I've logged on, there's just been loads of mobs. Uh, hey, before we go, I've actually got a little something for you to sort of start you off. Hey, there's oh, a skeleton thanks. horse. Is that yeah. gonna? Is that a trap one? Hang on. We got a horse. Oh. There you go, horse for you. Uh, <laughs> but I've got a little. I've got a little gift for you, uh, and I'll give you one of these as well. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Box. Oh, nice naming on the tools. <laughs> and the box. The box as well has been named. Do you know um, on on the server that I was on about earlier? Um, yep. We actually we actually had the pets mod, um, and you could have a pet shulker box, oh, and it was oh, actually oh, called. Uh, use oh, use the sorry. pickaxe. <laughs> Tools out, should I? Uh, um, yeah, you could take them out if you want to. Yeah, I need some cookies as well. Awesome, that'll do me for now. Ooh. Oh, thank you. That's, That's all good. very handy. Uh, well, the, the main reason I'm giving you the shulker is the end has been pretty much decimated. Um, oh, has the, it? There probably are end cities around, but Conniption Fit has a, uh, a shulker box shop at the uh, at the shopping district. And uh, you can pay with diamonds or gunpowder, but... Um, yeah, like that would be your best bet if you want some shulker boxes at the moment. I've just got a couple spurs, awesome. so I thought, well... I'm not going to use them all. I'll gift one. But yeah, these are the plots for the plot picker. So in this big building over here, we have got um, a special device. And you basically hit some buttons that spits out some concrete and some coordinates. And you basically head over here and it'll tell you what you need to build. And you can choose an extra sort of uh, like a bit of floor and it'll, it'll give you a like an added challenge, like build it in an elven style or build it in an orcish style. So oh, it cool. adds, adds some cool little challenges to it, which is quite cool. Like, like this one over yeah, here cool. was, uh, my challenge was overgrown. Okay. So this one here That's ended cool. up with all the vines and stuff over it. I must admit, from watching the, the sort of few craft away videos that I have, that was one of the things I really liked. I think it was on, I might have been when um Klautos did a stream and he was on about the you know 
in things. I think it keeps it quite interesting because like sometimes you can run out of ideas. Yeah, so it, like it really ideas. does. It's really helpful. It's a really cool thing that Bully's made. And I really mm. like how he's planned it all out as well. Like there's districts, there's different no. plots. He's done a lot of work here. And uh, it, it's looking pretty pretty mm. cool so far. And then we've got another town as well, Rebel Town, which is very much more free-for-all, build-what-you-want kind of deal. Cool. So it, we, we're going to have two competing towns built in two very, very different styles. And yeah. uh, so it'll be interesting really to see how it turns out. And yeah, this, this is structured, and, and uh, we, we wanted a place that was also kind of kind of a bit more like a a natural spread where it just kind of goes explodes outwards and there's random builds everywhere we want to see what, what how it would turn out as opposed to the structured sort of style you can do random <laughs> so what was this the building that you were on about this is Sorry, the plot picker so if we head over here <clears throat> shameless plug, shameless plug. <laughs> shameless plug, hang on. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it, all the instructions are kind of here. It tells you what you need to do. Um, so you can pick a residential plot, challenge plot, or a place build plot. So the place build ones are like, uh, they'll have an, a thing on that says tavern, and it has to be a tavern that goes into the, or, or oh, statue, oh. or something. Uh, challenge builds yeah, okay. are cool. pretty interesting. I think the statue at the front of the courthouse was a challenge one. And residential okay. is just residential. So you'd hit that button. Out of this dispenser would pop a color matching this that you've picked here. You then yep. put it into this chest here. Okay. And then you come over here and wait. This will flash and make some noises, and it'll spit out a bit of paper with some coordinates on. And oh, that's really cool. Then you've also got this. This is the augments. So this is where you might get all sorts like of the random Elven stuff. Build or something yeah, like. yeah. Oh, nice map. And then when you've done plot oh, marker returns, do you put them back in there? Once it's done. But yeah, this is this is such a cool map. It's amazing yeah, to see how yeah. how much has been planned out and how far this has come from when yeah. we first set up spawn. Yeah, I think I noticed that when um because I had a little run around last night and obviously I've been watching again like, the earlier videos mm. and um so there's not really much going on in the earlier ones compared to this all of this. <laughs> like I went yeah oh yeah came out this area and it was just like where is all this stuff coming from it's amazing yeah, yeah we, but i think it's been, it's been going quite a long time now craft away we, it's all it's just been about a year i mean it's just been a year it was like late november we started so yeah cool. yes yeah, it's, it's it's kind of cool <laughs> to be in, in, in a community like this for so long and still have it being such an yeah. active and interesting group of people uh, I, I love working with them. still have so much to do, like, like all these plots, and like you, you yeah. know, it's and, and nobody's going to run out of anything soon. No, <laughs> no, you're always going to have ideas for builds, and uh, you know, everybody's got their own sort of private projects as well, which is is really cool. So yeah, lots lots to do yet.
I'm gonna I'm gonna head off now. And, yep, uh, no worries. And have a little thing, but yeah, it's it's helped a lot. So thank you very much for showing me around. Not wrong. Everything. Good to catch yeah. up with you. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to actually speak in person. It is, yeah. Because we talk to people all the time. It's strange because we know each other's voices from our videos, but obviously we've never spoke to each other and we just know each other from Twitter. So it feels like we know each other, but in a way... We yeah, don't. It, it's yeah. a very odd. I like that about on online friendships are a very interesting. Thing. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, like you say, like it's not like your your voice doesn't sound. It sounds familiar. I've heard it enough on the videos and things, and yeah, and cause, like you say, because we talk on Twitter. You, yeah, it's it's just nice to kind of bring that together and just finally actually talk and and sort of be on a server, I guess. So yeah, mm. cool. Anyway, I'm gonna go, but thank you very much. Yeah, you're and, very welcome, uh, and welcome to the server. Well. I'm, we'll I'm really looking the, uh, forward to seeing uh, your uh, your videos, and I want to see this texture pack. This texture pack sounds amazing, so I'm looking forward to checking <laughs> I'll, that I'll, out. I'll probably do a little bit, a bit of a tour as well myself. Yeah, definitely. Because I, I okay, actually, cool. that's something I've not actually thought about. Is like what people's builds look like in that texture pack. Yeah, yeah, so that's definitely. Really, really I'll, 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 quite crazy. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a little wander around so you get to. It's, it's it's quite cartoony. It's a bit plasticky, but it's it's not too. Not in tune in your sense. face, yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. Well, and I'll definitely see you at the premiere later anyway, so Excellent. I'll with that. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. All right, <laughs> see, see you ya. later. Bye. Bye, bye I finally get to use the scaffolding that I've made, like, tons of, but I completely forgot about it. I was, I was nerd-polling everywhere, and, um, yeah, I don't need to do that anymore. Thanks to that amazing invention, I can even get down and uh, pick up the stuff I've dropped pretty quickly, too. So yeah, get yourself some bamboo, get yourself some scaffolding, guys. It's a fantastic addition to Minecraft. Absolutely fantastic. Here we see the mystical Don Retina. I've just dropped off a lovely little gift for him and some slime too. Have all the slime. There you go. <laughs> yeah, Don's here. How about that? So a bunch of cool stuff for him to check out. This is madness. We've got so many people on the server right now. I am super happy. This is awesome. Let's just get all Christmassy. Is, is Corruption Christmassy? I don't know if he's Christmassy today. But I, yeah, hello. Greetings. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Crap, I disagree. Threw over the building. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so did whoever threw that one. That was me. Oh, Gamer Queen. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Um, does this, this does give a good view of spawn, I guess. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we could all kind of stand just on these steps and then look sort of at the sun. And then that way spawn town will be behind us. Yep. Behind you. Uh, uh, behind oh, you. Yeah. Oh, crap. That. I fell off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not... I just flew up there. Who needs a... Uh, oh. <laughs> Sunfire just killed himself. Idiot. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm at my... Can someone pick up my stuff? I'm at oh, my... my goodness. Your stuff is everywhere. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, miles away at the Christmas district again. I oh, no, know. Boy. I'll be back. What are you doing way out there? I'm, I'm getting I was it. building a house. <laughs> No one's built anything yet, so it's like, well, it's almost full? Christmas. Yeah, my inventory's full. All right, hang on. I gotta put this uh, this put orange. Down. <laughs> you got a handful of scaffold, Foxy, and you're you still can't get up. Oh, my inventory is lagging big time. Sunfire is carrying around shulker boxes full of random crap again. I had to. <laughs> I literally had to. There's no room in my uh, ender chest at the moment, and I've just put. I've just did a build, so um. I had, like, no space for anything. What? Wait, what is going on here? With what? The scaffold is breaking on these blocks. What is up with that? What What type uh, of block uh, is it? Is it a slab? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it doesn't like slabs. on the bottom of a block, it won't it's do. It's not. It's not. Oh, it's on the top? It's on the top. Yeah. It doesn't place them on the top ones, either. It's got to be, like, two slabs on top of each other for it to class as a full block. Oh, it's got to be a full block? Yep. Is that what the problem Yeah, you is? can't place it on glass either. Ah. That's weird. Okay, so let's see. I've got all your stuff 
uh, Sunfire. Fire? Just sorting through what's yours I'm not here. Using the right texture pack. Do you have any space in your ender chest? Oh well, I can't nope. put crap in your ender chest. Nope, Never you mind. Can't. And I don't. <laughs> no. Um. Yeah, because of that build, I had so much like dark oak and bits and bets of well, everything. Like, I, I had like do. six shocker boxes of stuff. Million tons of scaffolding. We could just make a ladder that goes all the way to the roof. We could. Well, that's true. I haven't even played <laughs> with it. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. That's that? amazing. What's amazing? There, we made. I just went up scaffolding <laughs> for the first time. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't. There we go. It's oh, you can stop anywhere. Yeah. Yep. So you can you can actually like make things like, come off it anywhere as well. So there's there's just tons of possibilities for for scaffolding. My whole life just changed a little bit. Yep. And I mean, like you get the whatever the the limit is. Whoa. <laughs> Four. Yeah, I think four. I'm to grab my stuff. Yeah, Sun told me it was six as well, but um, um, I think it's, it's six. In, it's supposed to be six enough, in Willie. Java, but it's four here. I think. So what's yeah. what's happening? Where's I actually stuff? like four That's better. My, oh, here, Sunfire it allows you to count by fives. All right, so let's see. Uh, the if sky four block gaps. You can. Uh oh. <laughs> Diamond axe. Uh oh, I'm just gonna get bully stuff now. <laughs> All right, wait a minute. Okay, well, that's not my bow. I'm in the plot picker, so I got no of those. I'm not very far away. Got no of those. Uh, silk touch pick. I don't think I had my silk touch pick. That was on mine, yeah. Uh, let's see. I got a diamond axe. I had a fortune pick as well, but it was only efficiency three, I think, or efficiency two. Uh, oh, what was that? Oh, up, oh who did of, that? Of... <laughs> oh, crap. I hadn't set my spawn. You burned to death? <laughs> Why are we all dying? We're not even doing anything. I'm dude. back at the Christmas area. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, who my shot goodness. me? <laughs> who shot me? Um, oh, let's, no. Let's take down this scaffold, like so. And we're finished. Ta -da. So I kind of want to go for like animal skin rugs. It's kind of a bit messy carpet. There are a couple of beds in here. A little bit of decoration. Uh, I've kind of kept the windows to a minimum up here because I'd imagine they'd know that heat rises and it's a cold environment. You don't want the heat to escape from the top where you're sleeping. So. There's slightly more windows as you go down. Little dining room, study meeting place type thing. And then a nice little warm office and little kitchen set up here at the bottom. And I'll, oh yeah, I'm happy we've had this turn out. We've got our little bay windows as well. And if we go over here and take a good look at it. I'm happy with that. And I like the roof. I've never really used snow blocks as a roofing material before. But it works. And this place looks really nice in the snow. Really nice in the snow. But that is going to do it for this episode. We have had a crazy episode. There's been lots of stuff going on. Lots of little um, quirky little clips for you guys. And I hope you have a fantastic holiday season. Um, if you are looking for something to do, or looking for content to watch over that holiday period, Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Check out the people in the description. The rest of the Craftaway Castaways, they're down there in the description. And they are a fantastic bunch of content creators. I genuinely have so much fun playing Minecraft with these guys and girls. So please go and check them out. You will not regret it. There's content for days, you will love it. But uh, that is me. That is me for today. And probably me before Christmas and New Year's. So, I well, I'm hoping, if I just take off my armor, look at a nice look at my Christmas skin. Um, I hope that the New Year brings lots of exciting new Minecraft adventures for us. And I'll see you then. Bye.